Hi everybody. Uh, I'm going to open the door and uh, let Jack come out today. Uh, he has been, he's, yeah, I, I always call him my, my lazy snake and um, that is, I would say pretty much the best way to explain um, the personality um, of Jack, my male coastal carpet python. Uh, he's not the most active of snakes as such, but that doesn't mean that uh, Jack is not in any way, shape or form a snake that doesn't love interacting um, with me and being with me. It just takes a little bit of coaxing um, to come out of his, his home, which I see it as. He loves his home. He enjoys being in there. Uh, Lily, well, I'm sure she loves the home that she's in, but uh, as you would know, Lily, my female jungle carpet um, is of the opposite and is active and wants to be out all of the time. Um, even with the pink belly that she's got at the moment, although today um, I will spin you around, she is quite happily uh, up there in her hammock. Uh, she's just kind of spotted me with that camera. Uh, but I really don't believe that she'll be uh, wanting to come out. Jack, I don't think he'll want to be wanting to either, but uh, he's due for his feed today. Um, so he'll be a little bit hungry um, as well, but um, that's fine. Jack is still an okay dude to convince him to come on out. And if I can't convince him, of course, he knows that I'll probably get him out. And the best thing, guys, right now for me is for the first time in weeks, um, I'm hoping my shoulders um, can handle it a bit better. I bit the bullet and uh, went and had um, steroid injections in each of them because I was finding it um, so difficult to lift my snakes, especially these big guys. And uh, and trust me, that's the only reason why I went and had them um, because I don't want to not be able to get my snakes out. So anyway, let's get this door open and uh, discuss a little bit about, you know, interactive. Man, all I can say to you people is, you get a carpet python, don't expect anything less and don't want anything less. Don't do anything less than be interactive with them. They love it. They really, really enjoy it. And I would hope that everybody really would take advantage of that with their carpet pythons because that is how I found them all very much to be. So willing to participate in the things that we're doing and what we're getting up to. As much as I am so willing to, to be a part of what they're doing and what they're getting up to. I bring them into my world because they do love it and they do enjoy it and don't ever think for one moment that they don't and please don't use that word they tolerate it because that is the untruth honestly it is not the truth i can't speak for boas and all the rest of it i can't have them if i could i would and I'd love to prove otherwise to you all. Actually, that shoulder's aching. Um, I'd love to prove otherwise with even the lesser uh, to be known species such as ball pythons to be not that interested in interacting, that they are. 
It's the human that is not interested in interacting with them. So I'm going to get Jack out. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm going to place this little tripod um, down and um, hopefully you may be able to see a bit of me doing that. I hope. Okay, dude. I do want you to come on out and say hello to everybody because you've not been out for a little while, have you? Hey? So, let's go, big dude, and come and say hello to everybody today. Can you do that? Hey? Especially your mum. I'd love to spend a little bit of time with you today because you are going to be fed and then I know that you're not going to actually want to come out. Oh, that's so much easier, guys. Oh, my arms, even though the left, the right one actually has given me the most um, um, difficult um, time and yet oh in ultrasound it's telling a complete I don't know if you can see a complete and different story um, I don't want you going back in there dude please I can't get your <sighs> booty moving and I've lost the space for me to actually put him down onto something that he feels. You go down on that, dummy. No, I don't want really, I don't really want you going home. And I know that's probably what you really want to do. Sorry guys, I've I've no idea of you. Um I'm just going to let him <laughs> Uncoil himself a little bit and using me as um, that little bit of support. Uh, well, you have to let go with that tail, dude. You've got plenty of grip on me, haven't you? Well, I believe you do at this particular point. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm standing up. And I'm going to retrieve him from oh, oh, under here. Don't make my life so hard, dude. What's that there? Now he's just decided to go. Sorry, guys. I'll move you with me so you can see what I'm seeing. He's actually decided to go up under his enclosure which is cool because I'll nab him on the other way out up there I'm not going to tug and pull him out um, because I know there's an easier way to get him to come out um, hey dude wrong way that is totally the wrong way dude Oh, there you go that was a successful but honestly guys my my arms can't handle it so I'm going to turn off and uh, come back and try and make this video a little bit shorter for you okay guys five minutes later maybe a little bit longer but he eventually came all the way around and uh, came out so it still wasn't easy though because uh, he's a bit slow. Jack wanting to, he wants to explore and he wants to do something like <laughs> most carpet pythons, they're stubborn as and uh, they get their minds set and their minds are set. So um, that's the end of the story. And you've got a big strong dude like Jack that can make your job 
even more difficult. Hey, because you're as strong as an ox, to be perfectly honest, he is. But uh, eventually, he kind of gets the idea of what it is that I'm actually asking him to do. Oh, I think I need a mouthful of tea, so excuse me while I have a mouthful of tea. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay. I was I talking about interactive snakes? I guess the bottom line for me is if you don't want to interact with a snake, get one of those species that is possibly less inclined. Though, I honestly, I can't think of one off the top of my head that would be less inclined, but I do know that carpet pythons are more inclined to be that way. So, I know so many more people now that really want to develop that bond, I think is the word, with their snake, which you know all starts with the trust and then comes the bond with them, or them bonding with you. Um, <clears throat> but interacting with them is how that, that all evolves. If you don't interact with them, neither of those are achievable. And if you're lazy, is a term that I would use, and do not want to have a snake that desires that interaction with you, don't start it with them. Because for me, it's like giving a kid a lick of a lollipop and then saying, or an ice cream, you know what I mean. But you can't have any more. That's it. That's the end of it for you. That's how I feel it would be for the snakes that you start having that interaction with and then all of a sudden pulling it away from them. The worst part for me is for all of those that may have done that with their snake, then can no longer care for that snake and it goes somewhere else and the next person is the one that can't be bothered to do that with them. So if you've been somebody that has offered that with your snakes and you decide you no longer can keep that snake, make it a part of the deal. But this is how their life has been. It's easy to take notes and put down on a piece of paper how often they eat and what they're eating and pooping and shedding. For me it is so essential to put down your daily routine that you have with that snake. Now Jack doesn't come out every day but that's because he's, he is one of my lazy snakes and not because he doesn't want to be around me or doesn't want to interact with me because I know that he does. He's never ever been against coming out and being with me and hanging with me ever. And uh, he's never been defensive towards me. He's never shown that he's disliked anything that I'm doing with him. I try to handle my snakes appropriately and the way I see it that they would want me to. And I have done a, a video yet, I think, to put up about handing, handling your snakes appropriately, especially these big guys. You know, it's so important to handle them and give them lots of support so that they feel really comfortable. If they don't, they can turn around and bite to grip and not to bite you because they're angry at you, but because they're feeling very insecure and, and the next thing that they can use to hang on to something will be their mouth. And that happens to be your arm or your leg. It happens to be. 
you know, the amount of people that have had a snake up on their head and that snake has been, you know, hanging there and seems fine, but all of a sudden that snake feels like it is going to fall. They've actually bitten the person in the face. It's been a pure accident and not deliberate. It was done out of being afraid. So, um, as Jack takes his wander, which is perfectly fine by me today, because I'd like him to do a little bit of exercise. You know, I can still interact with Jack, even though he's cruising up there and I know he's going to head on up there and find somewhere to chill out. And But I talk to him all day. I ask him if he's okay. I give him a pat and say, what are you doing, buddy? I, I don't just ignore them. I, I watch them and I put in as much of me with them even though I allow them to free roam and they love the free roaming. You know, I think it's a vital part of their care. Don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid, oh, but what happens if they disappear and I can't find them? Well, with a Pani, the likes of a Pani, even a Maya, they're little and they can get into the most little of, of spots. But I really have my eyes on them. The Jack and the Lily, the Jessie, the Tessa and even Sia. Very hard to lose a snake of that size. You've just got to make a space that is applicable for them to explore and that you can visually keep your eyes on them guys. So as you know, as much as they love interacting with you, they love to interact with what's going on out here. What is out here? What can I do out here? Where can I go? So long as you spend a little bit of time chatting to them, letting them know you're here, that they're safe and that everything is cool, they're going to love you for it. And they're going to want more and more and more of it from you. So, interactive snakes, can't go past a carpet by them. Absolutely cannot and will not go wrong with getting yourself a carpet python if you want that relationship with them. Jack, Lily, even Jessie, you know, a prime example. And I'm going to get, sorry, but you can't see him. But I'm going to grab a puppy pad because I can see his booty moving. Well, sorry dude, I know I grabbed it. But you know the drill. So, keep going. Dude. That's all okay, Mum. Thanks. You've got the, the puppy pad under me. If you don't think Jack doesn't know what I'm doing right now, he absolutely knows what I'm doing and the purpose of me putting a puppy, pa 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 pad under him is for the purpose of him to go to the toilet. And once he does, then I know he's just going to chill out and go and do what he wants to do. And right now, as you can see, he's concentrating. That is what he's doing. Just concentrating, he can't move and go to the toilet at the same time. A bit like a horse. While they can pee, they can poo while they're walking. They just can't pee when they're walking. So if you ride horses, or have never ridden a horse, your, your horse stops dead, and you're kicking them to keep going, take a moment to see whether they're going to the toilet or not. But, well, good boy. You really needed to do this, and um, I'm glad you're doing this because you're due for, a, for another feed tonight, and we don't uh, need that inside of you on top of another 
rat mate. So I'm rather pleased you've um, you've gone, and I would show you, but it's not very pleasant to see, guys. And there are some instances where smell or vision um, wouldn't really be great either. Thank you, dude. Well done, Mercy. He's all finished. So guys, interacting, realising when they need the loo and being prepared because Jack's been hanging on um, and that's what Jack will do and he'll get constipated if he hangs on too long. I'm just going to put this in the bin guys and I'll come back and say goodbye. guys there you go he should be feeling better and he'll be all ready for his meal later on today but you know how it goes take care of yourself and your family and your friends take care of your snakes as you do all your animals we all take care of our cats and our dogs and so forth take care of your snakes similarly Larry. I'm terrible with pronouncing some words. I think it's my two big front teeth that have always been a big bother to me um, with some words in my life. There you go. Interacting. How you figure out the toilet. And that's why you have a supply of puppy pads when you've got snakes that you allow to free roam in the house. We all take care. Ciao.